Let's now hear from Professor Andrew White, Head of Ophthalmology at Westmead Hospital on an award-winning eye monitoring program operating in clinics in Western Sydney. The program has reduced glaucoma patient intake by 50%. I'm Associate Professor Andrew White. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist with an interest in glaucoma. I'm Head of Department of Ophthalmology at Westmead Hospital and Director of the Community Eye Care Project. I'm Belinda Ford. I'm the Service Coordinator for the Community Eye Care Project. In Australia, there are approximately 900 or so ophthalmologists who are active across the country. We know that somewhere between 10 and 13 percent of those people have subspecialty interests in areas like glaucoma. There are approximately 6,000 optometrists also in the country. We know that the number of people who need to be seen for either diabetic uh, eye disease or glaucoma is probably a little over a million people. And so it's pretty obvious to see that if only ophthalmologists with a subspecialty interest in the eye diseases that we're focusing on could see these patients, we simply don't have enough capacity to do it. However, the real challenge is to make sure that people who simply require monitoring for these eye diseases rather than active treatment are seen in a safe way uh, and not lost in the system. One of the big challenges with eye care, particularly in Western Sydney, is capacity for people that need monitoring for eye disease but not necessarily treatment. Our eye clinic has 25 consultant ophthalmologists and sees 30,000 patients a year. Uh, we're the only public hospital uh, clinic in Western Sydney. Within the region, we know that there's approximately 14,000 people with glaucoma and probably that many again that need monitoring. We also know there's about 130,000 diabetics, about 30,000 of which probably have some sort of diabetic eye disease. It's not possible for us to see them all, but often these people have nowhere else to go. And so we've devised a system such that these people can be safely monitored in the community and only come into the eye hospital when really needed. Community eye care is a system whereby people who require monitoring for glaucoma and diabetic eye disease are seen in a community setting by qualified optometrists who send uh, reports of a standardised examination to us electronically for review in the clinic. Only the people that requ actually require treatment come into the clinic and the remainder maintain, uh, continue to have monitoring in the community by those optometrists. So how the system works in practice is all patients that require an eye review for either glaucoma or diabetes in the public hospital clinic at Westmead get a referral sent to us for assessment. People that are deemed to be suitable for assessment in a community setting through the CIC project are then referred onwards. The people who are most suitable for uh, this kind of system are the people who uh, we consider to be at low risk of blinding eye disease or we simply don't have enough information on the referral. The patients who are not suitable for this system are people with clearly uh, imminent danger of vision loss from blinding eye disease, people who require surgery or have had uh, previous surgery or laser treatment for glaucoma or diabetes, um, and those who have, are known to have advanced disease or only one eye. So suitable patients are then referred on to our community eye care centres where a standardised assessment including retinal photography and visual field testing is performed by qualified optometrists. Those uh, test results are then transmitted electronically to us as well as a clinical decision made by the optometrist. Only those patients that are deemed to require active treatment pending review by one of our ophthalmologists in the eye clinic are then referred into the eye clinic for that treatment. Patients that simply require monitoring at known intervals uh, continue to have their assessments at the community eye care centres. So we started a trial of community eye care in January 2017 and until December 2017 we saw 750 patients. Um, some of the outcomes of the trial showed that 50% of patients who went through the trial did not need to come into the hospital for a further follow-up appointment um, and that resulted in a seven to eight week reduction in wait list at the hospital. I'm the director of the CIC project and I work very closely with Belinda here who uh, it coordinates uh, the patient flow and the clinical outcomes. Under this structure we have two other ophthalmologists who electronically review the findings transmitted by our optometrists who are at two centres in Parramatta and Blacktown. We hope in 2018 to move from a pilot phase, which we had in 2017, to fully integrating a sustainable model of care into our regular models of care in the eye clinic. We're looking increasingly at what happens to the patients who are being followed up in community eye care centre in addition to the stream of new patients that we see every year. 
And we're working closely with the other hospital departments to make sure that we can streamline all the processes and it can fit in with the hospital systems that currently operate. So I started to work in health because um, I really thought it was important for people to have better health and that they would be able to get better access to services. The health system in Australia is quite complicated and people can find it hard to find the service that they need at the right time. Um, so when the CIC project came along, I thought it was a great opportunity to get involved and help uh, people to access the right services, get the right treatment and also make the health system more efficient so that more people could have access to better services. I became an ophthalmologist uh, from actually a laboratory-based background and I was always fascinated with how the eye worked and how that we see. And then as I moved on, I thought that was all very well, uh, but I wanted to have, give a tangible ben benefit and help people see better, particularly when the system uh, was not working so well. And so I became an ophthalmologist and I've been a consultant ophthalmologist since 2011. Uh, I've worked as a consultant in the UK and Australia. When I came back to Western Sydney, which was principally my training ground as a uh, ophthalmology registrar, it became immediately apparent to me that there was a number of people who were effectively taking up the position of others who needed treatment just to be monitored simply because I had nowhere else to go. And at the same time, I could not get to the people with potentially blinding eye disease fast enough and I realised there had to be a better way. So I adopted a model that I had used previously overseas to Australian conditions and the idea of the CIC project was born uh, and I'm very pleased with how successful it's been so far. <laughs>